everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ladina Strand, I'm a realtor in Portrait, Washington. Now, if this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn everything about working, eating, living, sleeping, and playing, you gotta make sure you tap the subscribe button down below and also hit the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Now I'm getting phone calls, emails, text, every single day I'm helping them and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating here to the Western Washington area, you gotta make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, you can even send the Seahawk. However you wanna get a hold of me, I definitely have your back when moving to the Western Washington area. Now I come on here every single week to give you the most um, up-to-date market information for Kitsap County, Washington. Now across the country, purchase applications are up for the eighth straight week, coming in higher than 13% from a year ago. Recovery and the purchase market is regaining steam once again, and new for sale listings are up 19.3% month over month, and newly pending sales are up 24.5% over the past month. Now let's talk about mortgage rates. Now the average for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage dropped below 3% this week. Um, so that's just some of the stats that are going across the country. Now let's kind of dive in um, and more deeply into what's currently happening in our, in our local market here in Kitsap County. So what I wanna do is just kind of start by giving you a breakdown on the activity that we've seen throughout selected cities in the Kitsap County, Washington area. Now, again, if I don't cover an area or a city or a community that you're interested in, just so feel free to reach out to me anytime. Um, you can, you know, again, send me an email, give me a phone call shoot me a text, whatever easiest for you, and I'd be happy to connect with you and give you that additional information. So we're gonna go ahead and start in Port Orchard in the um, South Kitsap County area. So let's talk about what's happened in Port Orchard in the last week. So sold, we had 22 homes that sold. We had 24 the week prior. Pending, meaning houses that went under contract, we had 14 homes that went under contract. We had 18 the week prior. And active new listings, we had 23 new listings come on the market and we had 29 the week prior. So right now we're sitting at a, a total of 117 homes for sale in Port Orchard and we had 119 the week prior. Now we're gonna move a little farther north. We're gonna talk about the city of um, Bremerton. And Bremerton has become a very, very popular area just simply because of the new fast ferry. It's making it much easier for people to commute over to Seattle. So we have a lot of people that are also telecommuting etc. So in the last week, sold, we had 10 homes that sold, we had nine the week before, pending, meaning houses that have gone under contract, we had 10 last in the last seven days, and we had 10 the week prior. And active, we had eight, I'm sorry, 15 new homes come on the market, and we had 18 the week prior. And right now we're sitting at a total of 82 homes for sale in the Bremerton area, and we had 88 the week prior. Now we're gonna move a little even farther north. We're gonna go into Central Kitsap in the Silverdale area. And again, you guys, Silverdale has had low inventory numbers for a very long time. So if you are a buyer that is looking in the Silverdale area, you definitely just want to um, take note here. So, sold, we had 11 homes that sold. We had six the week prior. Pending, meaning houses have gone under contract. We had seven that went under contract. We had two the week before. And active, we had five new listings come on the market in the last seven days. We had five the previous week. And right now we're sitting at a total of 15 homes for sale in Silverdale. And again, this is the immediate Silverdale area. We had 20 the week before. Now we're gonna move even farther north. We're gonna go up into the Paulsville area, which is considered the more North Kitsap County area. And we had seven homes that sold. We had two the previous week. Pending, we had one house go under contract. We had two the week prior. And active, we had seven new homes come on the market in the last seven days. We had five the previous week. And right now we're sitting at a total of 26 homes for sale in Paulsbo. We had uh, 15 the previous week. So there's a little bit of an increase in inventory in the Paulsbo area. So if you're a buyer, that's definitely some good news. Now let's talk about countywide. So right now we are sitting at a total, and this is all price ranges for all of Kitsap County, 376 homes for sale. We were at 396 the previous week. So this, as you can see, the supply and demand is not keeping pace. There is definitely more demand than there is supply. Uh, we're still sitting here at 1.4 months worth of inventory or what we like to call the absorption rate. Again, in order for us to be in what's considered a balanced market, meaning it's not either a buyer nor a seller's market, 
we need to be sitting at at least four months worth of inventory. We're sitting at 1.4, so we're nowhere near that. Our inventory is actually down 12% year over year. Now what's interesting is our neighbors to the east over in Seattle, they've actually seen a 3% in, um, in reduction in home prices in the last year, and their inventory right now is sitting at 1.6 months. But I, I think it's simply just because there's just not enough inventory. But also here locally, our inventory is a lot less and our prices keep increasing. Um, our median house price for Kitsap County, again, is sitting at $390,000 as at the recording of this, of this video. So if you're a buyer, it's really important to make sure that you are working with an agent that can draft a very competitive offer for you. Honestly, you guys, anything under 500,000 in Kitsap County is receiving multiple offers. And I did a video a while back on how to win in a multiple offer situation. And so you can just click right above here to just access that video. Now, if you're a seller and you know you wanna, you wanna take advantage of the buyer competition that's out there right now, um, our market is usually fully up to speed by May, but because of the coronavirus, things were definitely delayed, but our spring market is definitely here. And you know what's interesting though, with everything going on, it's gonna be interesting to see where our market is at in the next, you know, say four to six months. Now, if you want more information on your home's value, what's happening in your specific community, feel free to reach out to me anytime by giving me a call, shooting me a text, you know, however you want to get, get a hold of me, I would definitely be happy to guide you through the process and you know, give you the, the additional information that's going to be specific to your needs. Now, if you're looking to buy, again, it's really, really important that you're making sure you're working with a knowledgeable lender. And so if you don't have a lender, just let me know. I'd be happy to recommend. I have some fantastic local lenders that I work with here on a regular basis. Um, as always, if you like this video, you know, make sure you hit the, the thumbs up button. It definitely helps my videos. Leave a comment down below, share it with a friend. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're interested in learning anything about Western Washington and what we have to offer here. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.